Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Ray, and welcome back to the front. So today we are going to be doing a horde base, but before we talk about that, let's go over this right here. This storage rack is awesome. I went ahead and specced in this storage rack as someone in the comments told me I should. And uh, yeah, I decided that's a good idea. And I went ahead and put down all these crates on it. And I really like this. This is a really cool setup. Someone else uh, mentioned in the comments, I should probably turn up my harvest amounts a little bit because the game's going to get super grindy. So I turned up my harvest amounts just a little bit uh, so I can get a little bit more resources so it's not so, you know, grindy hours and hours of grind. Um, I also spent a lot of time on that uh, manual drill and I got a decent amount of resources, I guess. Not really sure what a decent amount of resources is. I kind of feel like I have a decent amount. But then people are telling me I really don't have a decent amount at all. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. We'll just we'll keep the grind up. Shouldn't be much of a problem. All right, so I have been looking around the map for some areas I want to build in, and I think I'm going to build the horde base right here. Someone gave me the idea to build in between a copper and a iron mine, and this is an iron mine right here, and there's a copper mine up here. This is the flattest spot I could see for a horde base, so I'm thinking I'm going to build a horde base right here, and eventually I will move into this area. I kind of like this area. So I'm not going to be doing that today or like tomorrow or anytime like really, really soon, but... Eventually, I will take everything from over here and I will move over here. This will be my main base and down here will be the horde base. So let's see what I got here. Uh, we're going to take this. So I've got 13 regular foundations, uh, seven, seven two by twos, uh, 35 stone walls. That should be pretty good for a decent amount of time. I've got food. I've got drink. So let's get on out there and we're going to mark that right there. Oops. I didn't want to teleport there. We're going to mark that right there. What's the mark button? I forget. Uh, right click, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. It's right click. Yeah, I accidentally teleport. I do teleport around sometimes, especially if I'm looking for a, a good spot for a base, but I try not to teleport too much. You know, it's, it's so funny. I kind of wish they would take it away, but at the same time, it does help when I'm like scouting out for things or if I'm in a hurry and I got to get around quick, but... I'm going to, I'm going to, the thing is, you don't really need the vehicles if you could teleport around, but I'm trying not to teleport, so I will be making a vehicle. As a matter of fact, today was going to be making a vehicle day, and I was like, you know what? Let's get out there. Let's do the horde. Let's figure it out. It should be a lot of fun, and it's something I love in survival games. I love hordes in survival games, so, you know, let's go out there. Let's, let's get it done, and um, I think I know how to do it. I think you just put down that space beacon, and then you tell it, you tell the supplies to come down or whatever. I don't know how it's going to work because I've got a supply beacon, or I've got a space beacon over there. So I'm not really sure how it's gonna work, but you know, we'll see. First things first though, let's get to the build site. Here we are, nice, uh, pretty big flat building location. Not 100% flat, but honestly, there's not a lot of flat ground in this game. So I guess we'll just do the best with what we got. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is put down the space time beacon and I don't know. Seems like a good a spot as any. All right. And then we got to surround it with foundations. So I'll do my big foundations first. All right. So we're going to want to line this up as good as we can. And we also want it to be as high as it can be. That looks pretty good right about there. Um, move it like that. Okay. Now, they, I think the enemy needs to be able to get to the beacon. I guess that's the idea. So, ah, darn it. Why isn't that put, is that too close to the beacon? Yep. Okay. That's fine. Uh, can we put one here? Yes, we can. All right. So, have a little bit bigger of a spot in the middle for the beacon. Uh, kind of messed that up a little bit, but uh, that needs to be placed on the ground. Oh, boy. See, the, the freaking ground is going to kill me. I wish I could just pick up the beacon. All right, well, we got to put these where we... Yeah. See, the ground is really going to cause a, a major issue here. Okay, come on. Nope. Can't put it there. We can't, like, build anything. I mean, I guess I could build like this. Maybe the 2x2 two two foundations are not the way to go. All right, I'm just going to put them where I can for now. And we'll just kind of work with it. Damn it. All right, that's got to get broken up. Uh, all right. Man, these um these early access survival games have a real problem with building. Like, it's a one thing they just can't quite get right all the time. 
Um, it's not so bad in this game, but, you know, the, the, the elevation stuff is going to cause some issues here that I'm going to just kind of have to, I guess, work around. You know what? Can we make a stairs? No. I think we have to make stairs separate. So I'm thinking like that. And then we should be able to make stairs going down into the beacon. Um, I don't know exactly how this is going to work, to be honest. But I just know 2x2 two two foundations are not the way to go. At least not... In, well, I could probably build them out this way. Alright, and we'll do that. And it looks like we're out of foundations. I do have some concrete foundations, so I'll put those where I can. Is that all of my foundations? It does look like it's all of my foundations. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go back and get more foundations and maybe even put this in a in a separate spot. I wish I had more flat area, you know? Uh, maybe I can have the enemy come from this way. All right. Well, either way, before we do anything else, we're gonna have to go back and get some more foundations. Well, it's not exactly how I imagined it, but I think it'll work. All right, um, we're gonna need some stairs here. So let's go ahead and put some of those in. Um, I'll put them... No, put them over here. I think I could put them. Yeah, like that. Okay, cool. So they'll come up the stairs. I'll make a little maze up here. And then they'll be trying to get down into here. That's how I think it's going to work. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. First things first, though, let's put some walls all the way around this place. And um, I I don't like the fact that the stone, the stone floors don't match. All right, so there's two kinds of stone floors. There's the regular stone floors, and then there's the... The two by two stone floors. Don't, shouldn't the two by two stone floors look the same as the regular stone floors? I'm not really sure. Um, I think once I get used to the base building, I'll, I'll rebuild this thing at some point. Uh, not today, though. It's not what this episode is supposed to be about. So let's go ahead and first things first. Let's make a little bit of a... Uh, I don't think I would want windows anywhere. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I could shoot out at guys, right? Maybe. We'll, we'll see. I think one of them on the corners. Okay, and then definitely here. Actually, I think that'd be a good spot for a window, to be honest. Yeah. All right, so what do you think? A window right in the middle? That sounds pretty good to me. I don't know if the enemies... I don't know if windows will help the enemies in any way. I can't imagine they would, but I don't know for sure. This will be the kill zone. Um, so I don't know if I want to put any windows there. All right, let's start right here. So they're going to come up right here. And do that there, like so. And then, I mean, do we just make corridors? I don't know, man. I don't know how this works. So I think I'm going to have you face that way. R. And then this will be a corridor coming down this way. All right, I don't know why they're facing that way, but... All right, and then it'll come up to here. That might be a window, we'll see. And we've got another corridor here. And then, you, you see, how, see what we're doing here, right? We're just building a maze. It's gonna be amazing! Sorry. Sorry. Am I out? No. Yeah. Come on. There. Come on, darn it. There. There. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll take things like um, floor spikes and put these down in the maze. So they can get themselves killed as they go through. I don't know. I'll just put it right there. I don't know if I can set it off. Uh, so floor spikes. So something about floor spikes are pretty cool, but they take a while to, like, refresh. So, and there's also some wall spikes I can make. Uh, where are they? These right here. Uh, arrow walls which goes out six meters, and I'm going to need to make stone arrows for that. All right. So how much more do I have left? Six? Okay. Let's put down some windows. All right. A window right there. All right. I don't think I want a window in here. I don't think it would really help that much, but... Eh, whatever. Whatever. We'll do it. Uh, I'm not going to have a window on that side. I will have a window on this side. And then double windows? Sure, why not? Windows are awesome. I'm going to put a window here and a window here. 
And I believe that is it for stone walls. Now I do have other, oh, I have two by two stone walls. Okay, let's put some of these in. Um, I won't be able to put a window in if I put this in, but maybe I could put it over here. See, I don't think having, I see I don't know which side there. Oh, these are two by, oh, never mind. I don't like those. <laughs> I don't like those at all. Now I do have some uh, concrete walls. I'm not going to use those though because I don't like the way this thing is starting to look. You know, everything's just mismatched and everything. I don't like that. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect some more stone, go home, make some more walls. I'm going to come back and hopefully finish this place and have a horde pretty soon. I think I should have everything I need to build the rest of this. So let's see what we got here. Um, 27 stone walls should be pretty good. Um, we will, I think we have these facing this way. Come on. There we go. Nope. Beautiful. Come on. And I made a bunch more uh, spike floors as well. So those should be all ready to rock and roll. Come on. A little weird with these walls. There we go. Finally, they're facing the right. Ah, damn it. I spoke too soon. There we go. And like that. Uh. I guess I'll make these windows, why not? All right, and then we need walls. We need to finish up the walls that we have out here. So this is gonna be a window. Uh, I don't know where I wanna put windows here. I guess I'll just put a window right here. And I guess a window right there. And then we need some proper walls. I've got a good part of the maze already done. Let's, um. Let's put a window right here and then a wall and then we're going to put down the spikes and we're going to call in the horde. We'll see how it goes and we will see how it goes. So we got a couple of, you know, little pathways here. I mean, it seems like a pretty decent amount of pathways. I don't expect the first horde to be too crazy, you know, <laughs> we'll see. And then we just kind of be like that. I'm going to put every other spot. Oops. Well, maybe not every spot. I don't know. We'll just see. Kind of figuring this out as I go along. All right, so that's it for that. So let's take a look at these arrow walls. I don't know how these go. Oh, crap. It's going to be kind of annoying um, because I put windows everywhere. All right, I'll put one of these arrow walls right here. All right, so how does this work? I know I have to give it arrows. Yeah, okay. All right. You know what? I think one arrow wall will be enough for now. Let's just wait for all of these to finish building. And then we should be good to go. I'll probably change these around a little. I, I really, please, please developers, let us pick stuff up. Please, pretty please with sugar on top. That would be really awesome. Uh, we need to put a few more walls in here as well. There we go. That's looking good. You know what? Let me put another arrow thing right here. And then we'll split up the arrows. I think this is gonna be plenty of, uh, you know, for the first horde. Uh, how do I split these? There we go. You come with me. Oh, my allergies. Ugh. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'd like to be able to walk along the top of the walls. Do you think we could do that right now? I don't know if I brought stairs. Let's take a look. All right, so we're just going to put... Wow. <laughs> put a lot of stuff in there. I, I think this would be a pretty cool setup. Uh, all right, we got some stairs here. And stairs only go up half for some freaking crazy reason. I don't know why. All right, I'll just put that there for now. Can I jump up that? Yes, I can. Okay. I did not bring any floor pieces, though, unfortunately. I'm not going back for more. I could probably just walk around up here. Yeah, sure. Why not? It'll be fine. Let's go ahead and call in the horde. So how do we do this? Um, receive supplies. There we go. We're on round one. We'll get some ether shards, we'll get a blueprint pack, and we'll get a supply pack. You must place it. Oh, I have to place a creature lore? Oh, okay. I didn't know I had to actually do that. Um, Where do I make it? Okay, let me find the creature lore. I'm not really sure where it is. Boy, I'm glad I did some research. Uh, I got the creature lore, okay? And in any other game, anything I would... Any game I would play, any kind of horde, you know thing to it i would think of a creature lore as to lure the creatures to where you want them to go that's not the way this works i figured i put the creature lore 
inside here, and then they would come through the maze to try and get to the creature lore. No, apparently the creature lore is where the enemies spawn. It really shouldn't be called a creature lore. It should be called something else because, man, that could have been a pretty bad situation. All right, well, at least now I know. So let's go ahead and put down the creature lore, and I'll just put it... I don't know, does it have to be within my borders, or...? Yes, it does. Okay. At least I, I assume it does. Because I couldn't put it out here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has to be within the borders. Come on. All right, seems like a pretty good spot for it. Hopefully they will just uh, walk up this ramp, and we'll see how things go. Let's get this... Uh, Let's get this horde started. I'm I, from what I from my research, I'm I think I'm horribly, horribly overprepared for this first horde, but that's okay. That is okay. I've been having fun with the game. It's not like, you know, it's not like I wish I did these earlier. Um, the game's been awesome, so I've been having a lot of fun with it. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh, I don't have enough stuff for repairs. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, I do. There we go. And retrieve supplies. Go for it. Actually, you know what? I'll just use the pistol. There we go. And there we go. They're spawning. And they're going to come right through this way. Um, eventually? What are they doing? What are you doing? Oh, they're already dead? Oh, that's right. The, the, um, I forgot about the arrows. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, the, the arrow things are just destroying. Well, at least one of them. There we go. And victory. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and get some loot. Nope, not destroy. There we go. Oh, wow. Wood sh Oh, wood stuff. Well, whatever. Still pretty good. All right. Well, that was, uh, that was awesome. I don't know why it keeps... Yeah, there we go. They're dropping a lot of wood stuff. That's awesome. So why did I only get two bags? Did the bags fall somewhere or... Did they not always drop bags or... I don't know. All I know is I've got to wait another nine minutes for another horde. Um, so, yeah. We'll wait nine minutes. Let me go see... Let's go see if we can get the reward. I don't know exactly how you get the reward. And... Here we are. Oh, wow. So I got 15 ether shards, 10 inorganic salt, 2 stone foundation. This is a, a recipe. Um, 12 duct tape, 12 clay, 12 leather, um, 2 more recipes, a recipe for a better knife, more stone arrows. Palmer, okay, yeah. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Now, can I do this right away? What is this 990? Space-time points will be used when receiving supplies. One point will be restored every 5 minutes. Okay. Can I do another one or do I have to wait for this? Um, the next wave is about to... Wait, what? Did I actually set it? Alright, one thing I would like to do. Um, I keep turning off these, um, task... The task bar on the right-hand side. But then it... The, the task tracker, but it never saves. So every time I, like, log back in, I have to turn it on. And then turn it back off again. Because it is... It does take up a lot of room on the right-hand side. Okay, so I didn't see anything... I'm assuming I have to wait eight minutes. But I, I don't know for sure. Round two. You do, can I do round one again? Round two. The next wave of supplies is about to arrive. Okay, so yeah, I have to wait for the supply beacon. Round two. Ding, ding. So check this out. I can actually upgrade the area. So I will do that at some point. Um, so I can maybe move that creature lure a little bit if I want to. I also got more steps down here. And they're not lined up properly. I kind of like the way this is set up. Like just the way it is. I don't know if I'm going to make too many more changes to up here because I like to be able to, I like to be able to shoot down if I want to but still walk around up top if I want to without having to worry about falling I also brought over a storage crate holder thingy and three storage crates because I was getting a lot of loot so let's go ahead and dump some of this stuff off although maybe I should carry bandages around with me see the thing is if I dump stuff off I'll forget it's here which I hate that I hate that I need to make more pockets so I can open up more you know, inventory space and everything. All right, 15 seconds, and we will be able to call in wave a numeral dose. Should be a lot of fun. I, re I really like this, uh, 
this setup. I like the way we control when they come in. That's fantastic. I wish every single survival game would leave it up to us on when we want to deal with this stuff. I will use pistol rounds if I have to. Okay, so retrieve round two. There we go. We have round two, enemies 15, time left is 14, or sorry, four minutes. All right, and you're gonna get nailed there. So, got another guy coming in. The arrow wall, yeah, this is, um, this is going wonderfully so far. I just don't know how the loot goes. I don't wanna have to go down and get loot right now. I think they'll actually ignore me. Let's see. I got eight enemies left. I don't know where they are. I was watching someone do this and like the enemies were ignoring them. Oops. Well, not exactly ignoring me, but he doesn't really want to deal with me either. Okay. Yeah, the, the loot is a little weird. It seems like if you don't loot them, you won't... Oh, wow, that's a lot of guys. Yeah, I think if they die too close to each other, you don't get the loot or something. And we got victory. Beautiful. Grab that. And... Grab that. Awesome. Alright, let's go see what we get. Yeah, I think if you're in their way, they'll attack you. But if you're not, they'll just kind of be like, Hey. Hey. Get out of my way. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we get this time. Alright. 30 ether shards. Inorganic salt. Stairs. Uh, that's just a recipe, though. Or a, um, a blueprint. Uh, there, there. Oh, look at that. Oh, wooden. Darn it. Got some arrows. Don't care about that. Okay. Uh, are we going to do round three today? Yeah, I think we'll do round three today. I hate having to wait ten minutes for it, but that's okay. No big deal. And here we go for round three. Let's get this... Uh, get round three done. I'm very, very happy about this. That's a lot to the game, in my opinion. I just have to maybe take out some windows, because I like these arrow traps. Although, I guess I could put the arrow traps on these walls as well. So, it's not like I'm... Sh it's not like... I put the windows here because I figured the enemies would be coming in from the distance. But I didn't realize how the creature lore worked. So, I figured they'd be coming in from the distance. So, I could just maybe pick something off or whatever as they're coming in. That that was my idea. But now the uh, the windows are just kind of in the way. All right, bro. Let's do this. Round three. And we're going to have 24 guys this time. I don't know if they actually get tougher or if you just get more of them. And you're gonna get killed by that. And oh, dogs! Oh man, we got dogs coming in? Did not see that coming. I might as well try looting. Doesn't seem like the dogs drop loot. I'll bet you I could like, um, I'll bet you I could skin them. Uh, as a matter of fact, maybe I want to do that. Uh, where's my knife? Where's my knife? Uh, there it is. There we go. Wait, am I not getting anything? Oh, so you don't get anything from the wolves? Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, well, so the wolves are completely useless to me. They don't, they don't drop a damn thing. All right, well, fair enough. I guess they can't all be winners. Right, we've got nine guys left. Uh, yeah, let's do some looting. The loot that these guys are dropping isn't crazy, but hey, seven ether shards is seven ether shards, right? Yep. I, I love the way they ignore the player. That's hilarious. All right, cool. You guys good? Here we go. Loot him up. Oh, 
Little doggos and victory. Oh, I feel so bad with the dogs, with the collars. Oh, that ain't right. That ain't right. People need to suffer. I don't like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we get for round five, uh, three. We'll be doing more rounds maybe next episode. I'm not really sure. We'll see. And there we go. Well, 46 freaking ether shards, and you could redo the round. So if you go, if you get to a round that is too difficult, you can always back up. All right, that stuff's all good. Wooden floor, wooden gloves. All right. Oh, even more stuff. Wait, what? No, that looks like. Do I not have any room? I don't even remember my inventory. I was like, what? Did I get a second quest reward or? All right, cool. This is a lot of fun. I am super. Super happy about this. Like, for real. Uh, there we go. Claim. All right, round four. 61 ether shards on round four. That will be freaking fantastic. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.